Hello everyone, this is John Perez and today I'm actually going to introduce you to functionality in Salesforce that will enable you to monitor Twitter conversations while also support them by creating a case in Salesforce.com. So today Twitter can be used for customer support and I'm going to show you how to do it right within your CRM system, in this case being Salesforce.com. So if I'm, let's say, a support rep at Microsoft or I'm a individual who supports the Microsoft platform, I'm going to do a keyword search for Vista support to look for and monitor conversations in the Twitterverse uh, that are around Vista support. Uh, so, of course, you'll see quite a couple of uh, conversations that do come up. Uh, you'll see everything from the image of the person talking about Vista support, the URL, their screen name, uh, their location, the description, which is really their bio description, and then the conversation, and this is kind of the key part here. So I'm going to glance through these conversations and kind of see uh, who are the folks uh, that are in need of support. And you see this is a pretty interesting one right here. It says, damn you, Vista, reach part one of Nolf where I had to swim underwater. Only Vista apparently won't support the graphics for that one part. Uh, so a great candidate for a support issue here. Somebody uh, is obviously playing a game called Nalf, and they're not able to actually uh, get to that part of the video game because apparently Vista won't support it. Uh, well, maybe I'm a support rep that has the ability to solve that issue. Maybe it's in the form of a uh, particular driver update for Vista. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this gentleman's profile. I'm going to click Create Case. Uh, this is also can work very good in your development environment. If you got dev issues and you want to monitor Twitter conversations, essentially you can also create cases based on Twitter conversations here. So I'm going to zoom back out because what it did here is when I hit create case, I actually created a new case in Salesforce with that particular support issue. And what I'm going to do is just to go to it, if I want to update it or support it, I'm going to actually click on that uh, profile and that's actually going to get me to the actual case. Uh, and the case is really the equivalent of a support ticket uh, in salesforce.com. You see that here, very straightforward. You have a case number. Uh, you will have the contact name, account name. You'll have the case reason. And from here, I can actually update it. Um, so I'm going to edit it. And from here, I can kind of put uh, the contents of the issue. Uh, issue with... Issue with graphics driver driver of course if you have your products in there you can certainly configure your products it's entirely up to you uh, and essentially I can put here in the description customer uh, must download the new service pack in order for NALF to work I replied via Twitter to direct them to the Microsoft site. HTTP www.microsoft.com So if I was actually handling a call, I'd be doing the same thing here. I'd be logging uh, my support case. I would be logging actually what I've done with the customer. The only difference here is you're using your CRM system in this case salesforce.com to actually find the conversations related to your product. In this case it's Microsoft Vista so you'll see the details of the issue and from here I can do everything from email the customer, update the case, close the case, attach files. Again I am the support rep in uh, for Microsoft and what you just saw was essentially a quick update on how to create a case. Uh, using salesforce.com so what I did is I monitored conversations around the Microsoft Vista product I found conversations with customers having issues with it and then I created a case and a solution off it uh, so this is John Perez service-push.com you're watching social CRM tools and upcoming functionality on the salesforce.com platform